Well, that's a good start. That uh, That's just come from my little margin spot on pit four. It's, it must have been half a wrap. Literally dropped it off the tip. Um, saw them coming in earlier. Just coming in, passing through, and I threw a little bit of manila down there. And they uh, came back, had a little feed. Came back. <laughs> oh no. Oh, beating me up, dude. Fucking hell, mate. Well, he beat me up a bit there. Um, but anyway, yeah. So he came just down from the margin. Awesome fish. Had a right calamity with, with landing him. He, uh, tight clutch. The rod butt wasn't set into the ground, so my bad. And uh, he pulled that out. And then uh, <clears throat> the line snapped on the snag. I jumped in in my waders, grabbed the line and hand lined him in all in about a minute's time so just happy to get him in get the rig out of his mouth but what an awesome fish that'll do i think so little update um we're fishing the uh pit three pit four bank at the moment i've got all three rods in pit three uh but Yesterday, where I caught uh, that mirror, so I've been baiting a little spot in the edge on pit four. Um, saw the fish coming uh, up and down the margin there for a little bit of bait, uh, literally just some chopped manila uh, and a few whole 12 millers. Um, chucked that down in the edge, they came in, tails went up, started feeding on it, um, so really good sign. Let them do that for about 45 minutes to an hour come in and visit um, they came in regularly picked a bit up went off and then I put a bit more down when it had, when they'd cleared the spot and then put some crumb down with it so they could stay there for a little while and I came back and checked 10 minutes later and it was just you could not see the bottom anymore it was so cloudy so that was the time to get the rig in I knew they were feeding and they were feeding hard there so uh, threw some more bait out just to make sure they, that anything that was there disappeared for a minute lowered the rig I really wanted to be able to see the rig go down uh, when I placed it but um, you know if they're feeding there there's nothing I can do about that so put that down lowered it in literally off the rod tip um, trap was set again some halves around it and uh, waited probably an hour and a half so it, I thought there was, was going to be a quick bite but I mean an hour and a half I'll, I'll take it um, so waited about an hour and a half and the rod absolutely just ripped off I mean I'm fishing I was fishing a tight clutch and I was stood pretty much next to the rod it pulled it off the rest um, so picked it up the line snapped and I let out a massive cry like just shouting no like how could this happen and i looked in had my waders on and i looked into the uh, into the lake and i could see the line on the surface and i jumped <laughs> jumped into the lake grabbed the line and i could feel the feel the fish was still there on still attached and i was just ha hand lined it in this was all over in about a minute's time and um got him in the net big salmon swoop from james right underneath it and uh, yeah, we got him in. So it was all a bit of a calamity really, but happy to have got him in, got the rig out of his mouth and, uh, and everything. So yeah, really, really good. It's, um, it's day three now. So it's, the, it's Tuesday, uh, day three. I left that spot after that fish. Um, left it, I threw a bit more bait in, but left it overnight. And this morning I looked and the bait was still there. So I think that, I thought um, that spot was going to be done, to be honest. Um, and then only a minute ago did I see the fish coming back in. Um, and when I looked, one, one shot off the spot and all the bait was gone. So a bit more bait's gone down. I'm not going to put a rig out until I see them really feeding on it hard again um, but keep trickling you know 10 to 12 baits in half 
that's enough to get a bite. So just trickling it in um, over the period of the day. Um, that bite came at five o'clock yesterday, so it might not be until five o'clock today I get a rig in, but we'll see, we'll see, so. Look at that one. That is an old scarred boy, that. Uh, that one came from the same spot as the last one. Been baiting it all day since this morning. Obviously had the one yesterday, five o'clock. Baiting it all day, five to five. The rod rattles off again. Got it in at about three, so a couple of hours it's been in there. But don't mind waiting for those. Awesome fish. Getting back. Currently taking cover in the bivvy because it is absolutely pissing it down out there. That looks nice. That's <laughs> a wet one, isn't it? Oh, oh excuse that can of cider. <laughs> You've set up in the in the river. Yeah, the river Nile. I've got to get all three rods out for the night and put some bait out and it's it's bucketing it now. It is so grim. It's getting worse. It's getting worse, it's horrible. <laughs> And we're waiting for a Chinese that James has to go and pick up. <laughs> oh my no, god, no. look at it out there. That is, oh it's horrendous. Hi mate, hold oh, that Chinese, I'm not coming. <laughs> <laughs> that is so grim. So you join us, the sun's setting on day number five. Um, we've had a busy couple of days, uh, the last two days, um, apart from the, the shocking weather, we've had torrential rain uh, all through last night, heavy showers in, in the day, like heavy, heavy showers in the day, um, but the fishing's been pretty good. You had um, your common yesterday. Yep, um, nice common, 20 pounder. Yeah, that was nice and dark, wasn't it, as well, really dark, and that put up a bit of a scrap in the weed, didn't it? Yep. it was, it got weed weeded up instantly, a couple of bleeps, beep, beep, and it just went straight into the weed, buried its head, just kept tight pressure on it, just the whole time, didn't you? Yeah. Just trying to sort of ease it out. Ease it out. Just, and just nudging the weed with the net to give it enough movement to think, oh, I'm gonna kick free here. And uh, it, I mean, it was right in close. There is just a big blanket of Canadian right at the front of the swims, both swims, which is a bit of a nightmare, but, um, yeah, a couple of kicks and he, he was out and in the net and um, yeah, I'll show, show you guys that now. Oh, look at that. Finally had one, first bite. I uh, flicked out a yellow pop up into uh, the margins, just under a tree, on a little gravel spot. And put some uh, chopped up, uh, what was it? <laughs> For, is it prime? Put some chopped up prime like from uh, RG Baits onto it and uh, yeah, finally got one. Nice dock, common, about 20 pound. And yeah, lovely one. And uh, it did me in the weed, and it was, yeah, a bit of a battle, but I finally got it in the net. Come bad. <laughs> Getting back. And then, yeah, today, this morning, I had, um, I had uh, my biggest of the trip, another uh, low, low 20 common, really dark. That's out of pit four behind us. All of my bites have been on pit four, it, literally right behind us, six feet from the bank. Um, and I thought that spot was dead, really did thought, think that spot was dead um, yesterday. Um, slowly been loading all the bait. Yes, just slowly, just trickling it in, you know, and you come, you check back every hour or so and a little bit of bait's gone. You might, yesterday we, we only saw a couple. Yeah. I mean, we'd seen, the first day we'd seen four or five fish coming in constantly. Um, then we had the first bite and then they shied off for a bit. 24 hours later we had one, one just came out over there. Um, 
and then yeah yesterday they really switched off to the spot what there was a mirror I think that was just that came in once in the day so I decided to leave it all day yesterday no rods in the water trickled the bait going in and um, then this morning got up early checked the spot no bait put a bit more in left it for a couple of hours and then had that bite at 11 and I'll show you that that now thanks mate I'll just grab it Whew. Fucking hell, it makes your heart race when that happens, doesn't it? It does mine anyway. <laughs> to be fair, we thought the spot was over. I did think this was done. Seeing them here this morning and then uh, sort of went to do the, did the off a bit, didn't they? I don't think it's very big, he's shaking his head. Too much. Oh, <laughs> slipping. Oh, yeah, he's shaking his head a bit. He's not. Oh. They never go out into the middle of the lake here. They know exactly where they're going. Straight, they want to get straight into the snags. That was so out of the blue, that bite as well, wasn't it? So out of the blue. I mean, I hooked him where I'm literally standing. <laughs> right in the edge. He's just holding down there now. He's not like giving an inch. They scrap well, to be fair, especially when it's close quarters like this. Oh, that was a big lunge. Oh. oh my God, he's going out to sea. <laughs> Here he comes, come on. This way. Oh, you're done. You're done. You're done. Oh, I didn't like that feeling. Oh. I love commons. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And this one is a prime example. Not a scratch on him. Absolutely perfect. He looks awesome. Such nice colours and then a really a light belly as well. I mean, look at those barbules as well. <laughs> Such a nice car. Another 20 pounder as well. So 320s off the same spot. Uh, I, I, we thought that spot was done this morning. Um, didn't think there'd be another bite there. Left it all of yesterday. Didn't put a rod in at all. Saw a mirror come, a small mirror come in on the spot this morning at about six, half six, seven o'clock. Um, got the rod out uh, when he disappeared for a bit of baiting, spook him off. And we waited for ages, to be honest. We waited until it's, I think it's just gone 11 now. So, yeah, waited a long time for this. Well, not in the scheme of things, but awesome fish. Slipping back. Right, that'll do. So yeah, we've got uh, two more days off on Sunday, Sunday morning. Um, Hopefully get a few more before then. 
I'd like to get one out of Big Three. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like, proven hard. It? Yeah, it is proven hard. Not many people around the lake have had anything out no, of it. No, I've not seen anyone pull anything out of Pit Three. I mean, I've not seen anyone pull out anyone apart from Pit Five. We yeah. could see the Pit Four and Five bank. We've seen a guy have one out of Pit Five, but out of these two smaller lakes, it's been it's been tough going to be fair. Um, and I thought this week the weather was going to be mega. Like it was, it has been raining and it's been it's not been boiling hot last time we came here it was 35 degrees for the week so we were I mean we were dying can't can't uh, I can't speak that's why <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine what the cart were feeling like like it's it was so hot but we yeah this week we were we, uh, yeah and we, they we they're, yeah they're cruising now we're out in the middle you know and we fished out there we fished in close all of the bites we've had have been in the margins all of them all four bites um, so, you know, we've got we've got rods out there still. Just nothing's proving fruitful from those spots. Um, so yeah, we'll keep you guys up to date. Fingers crossed for another couple before we go. I think it'd be nice to get one more each um, in two days. Yeah, we've been baiting some spots up and down the margins, uh, up and down the bank. So, fingers crossed. In the morning, we'll be checking those and stay tuned for another carp. Hopefully. Yeah, buddy. Well, last knock-ins on the fifth day. That's a way to go into this evening. Stalked out the margin again, different spot. We've been baiting up um, further down the bank all day for the, well, say all day for the last three or four days, really, just to have some options open. And tonight, James had a, had a peek down and saw that they were coming through. Saw a group of them and this guy fell for the trap. Same old trap, handful of manila in halves and that manila hook bait, wafter, doing the business, super sharp hooks. That's a cool carp. That is a cool carp. I'll just show you his other side and then get him back. That's a nice fish, just under 20. We've had a good average so far to be fair, this has been, it's been a good trip. Last day tomorrow, off on Sunday morning, it's Saturday tomorrow, so fingers crossed for one more reach, we might come down here in the morning, early, and get, get here before they get in. Awesome. Nice. Well, there you go, bite number five. That one's from pit three, just out the margin. High double, 18 pound roughly. Uh, so yeah, that's, we've got all, I've got all my uh, rods now in the margin. I mean, that's where we've had all the bites, not fishing at any range at all, literally dropping it off the tips. And that's where the cruising, we've had, um, we've had liners through the night and we've, we've not been fishing far out and we think, we're thinking to ourselves, you know, how can we move this any closer? Surely they're not there. And they are, they really are in the bank. So there's a big weed bed just off of it and he got stuck in there, but they're coming, they must be coming up in and out of that. You know the drill, handful of, handful of manila. And that's tripped him up with the manila wafter. That is absolutely doing the business for me today. This whole session really. So awesome, nice to get number five. Show you the other side and get him back. There's his other side. Hard fighting, long common. Nice. Slipping back now. So, while the rig's out the water, I thought I'd quickly run you through what I've been using for this week's session. I've got about two feet of the dark matter tubing that goes into a, lead, a simple lead clip system with a, a two ounce, uh, sorry, a two and a half or a three ounce lead. In this case, this one is two and a half. And then I've got attached to a quick change swivel with a, via a blood knot. I've got my anti-tangle sleeve with a cord of boom, 25 pound. And then 
attach to that the supernatural into a d-rig style so i've got the stiff boom section there to kick the rig out when it goes in with the anti-tangle sleeve and then i like having uh, a soft supple hook section so that it can turn and catch in the hook in the fish's mouth when it tries to eject the bait so that's on a uh, on a d-rig don't know if you can see there tied on and then just loop to loop onto the boom section it's as simple as that really and that's how that's done me all of my bites so far so we're on the last day now five bites um, you know it's that's been pretty good going especially after yesterday when it looked really bleak um, yesterday the whole day looked really quiet and then we got that mirror in the just before the light was going um, so it nearly gone to be fair and then just now about four o'clock ish had that bite so fingers crossed for one more but if not I'll see you at the end well that looks like that's it then um, final morning on the on the last day we're set to leave in about 20 minutes um, no more bites last night so that common being the last five bites uh, in a week session and you know what I'm really happy with that if someone had said to me at the start you know you're gonna get five bites I'd have jumped at the opportunity so yeah really happy um, long old drive back to Kent now so best get packed up and head on the road thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video I came from the mud, there's dirt on my head.